All right. This is it. Brand new, first time. Cheap, easy rig option. But uh, would it work? Like I think. We're gonna find out. Um, would you guys be able to see which do I do high or up? Okay, higher. Yeah, that's my that's my start stop button there. Um, yeah. So still good enough. Okay, I still need to raise it up. Alright, that should do. And then we got a top down camera on this side, so that's good. Mm. I don't think it's nothing. Ooh! Body bag. <laughs> this is it. It looks like everything is right here. Uh -oh. Really? Okay, there's some there's something here. Let's see. There is a let me drop this. The manual and oh yeah, some stops. Some I think these are gonna be used to uh, like locks. Okay. Alright, so this is the instruction. This and let's throw away the bag and let's see what's inside. Let's open this bad boy up. I might use it a lot more than I thought or I might need it a lot more than I think. But we'll find out. I'm going to find out with this chip knockoff and um, which um, Robinho Crimson engine he reviewed recently. He was the one that really gave me the courage to, you know, to take the plug on this. So, um, I, so I'm going to take a chance on it and uh, see. Okay, not bad, not bad, it's, it's not bad, <laughs> the quality is not bad, I just think we are just a little bit too scared. And one thing I love about this thing, why I got this one in particular though, was that it it, called, it, it um, ranges from 6.6 .6, I think uh, pounds to about 40 pounds, you know. 6.6 .6 to about 40 pounds. In, in other words, you can use it for light setup. So most most of these rigs want to kind of tend to start from 17. My new black, black magic cage, which is probably going to be the head, my heaviest rig so far, with the condor blue cage, and I think this thing will handle it well. So that weight, the last time I checked, was about 17. You know. Because I got the Commodore roof full cage and I'm, and I'm kitting up the camera just like I would on a serial shoot. You know, film shoot actually. So, this is going to be uh, my kit for, for um, my short film coming up. And lastly, we're going to look at this back. I want to see how it operates on a turn. Um, this latch, let me see what it does. Okay. okay. All right, it's pulling. It's pulling this guy over right here. Push this lever and turn to grab it. Okay. So we'll go outside and try and test this out. Now you remember to, you will need to use that pin we showed um, 
the other time to tighten up to keep it in place now this stuff was always flying around um, I'll show you a way to keep it safe later on this is my rig it is uh, basically almost everything I usually use So kind of this is like almost the worst case scenario, probably the heaviest rig I'll um, use on set for a short film. Um, I think the strength of the of the easy rig or the Vevo easy rig is the is sideways movement where you don't move actually you don't actually move your feet you move your your hips you, you slide you know and um, you could you do that handheld but usually you get tired because of the rig you can't do that for a long time but for this one you can actually you know lock it down and take some simple smooth movement you know that has, that has that floating effect which I just love you know um, yeah it looks like it's floating you know the you can't get that with uh, with, with the gimbal the gimbal is just uh, it's like digital to film that's how I look at it but um, Um, the other movement is tilt, so basically it is ideal for pants and for tilt, um, not for movement. So when you pan up or pan down, it's always great. You can get those movements. Yeah, and one thing I love about, you see the pants revealing? Mm. Like something's about to happen, a phone call is about to come in, or something like that. So it's it's good for the review. And I, and, and I will do a, and I actually put a piece together just to show, you know, my use case. Um, and um, this is pretty much me still getting used to it, but I, I already see where we can use it. And you know, while I wouldn't advise to do this much, um, you can you can take a break if you are tired and let it suspend for a few seconds, or you know, not for long. I would say just for a few seconds. Not I won't you know totally rely on any rig, no matter even the easy rig. I won't be leaving it hanging for a long period of time. Um, yeah, so but this allows you to do a lot of things, and uh, and I think I miss my uh, follow focus. I think that's trying to manually focus on the lens. You know, it's not going to be a good idea. You're going to have a lot of shaking to the footage, so you want to minimize the use of foot, um, uh, hand on the lens. It wasn't a good experience, which was the case I did. Um, I didn't set up. Um, um, the follow focus before I came on, before I did the recording, so um, that was a challenge to do. But uh, if you have your follow focus on, then you you'll get better better results. And one good thing about this lens is um, the per focal ability. I can use that. You know, if you have this lens, you can, you it will be a benefit because. Uh, you can zoom in and zoom out without moving. Your picture will still be in focus due to the focal ability of the lens. That will be something that will help out. Otherwise, um, uh, I will do another, make another video where I use the Panasonic um, BGH1 and I will uh, basically, I'll use an autofocus lens 
and I'll see how that works out when I don't even have the rack focus. I think it will work best if it's a subject like an actual person so that the autofocus can, you know, work properly instead of trying to guess what object I am, I am uh, trying to um, view. So um, that will come in another video. I decided to try lighter rig um, and, and here's this lens from uh, Here's this lens from Gen2. I reviewed uh, the 85 millimeters uh, on the channel not long ago. I put a link there, but um, this is this just came in uh, brand new, and it's the 500 millimeters. Now I'm wondering how. It's almost impossible. I already know, but it's a lighter um, lens. I just wanted to get in there and just attempt to see if I can get it to stable. I know it's even hard to use it on a tripod, uh, to use such focal lens on tripods, but I uh, just want to test and see how what what the easy rig will do for me, you know, how well it can keep me stable and able to focus. Now, now this is now I really don't feel any weight on my waist. I don't feel the pressure. Um, my hands are free, and uh, I feel a lot safer. You know, to take uh, longer breaks with my hand, but you wouldn't really need to because uh, the rig now is, isn't that much. You know, so I can only imagine how the Panasonic uh, BGH1 setup will be, which is actually going to be my. Um, documentary setup so basically the black magic pocket cinema camera Cisco pro will be my short film setup and the bgh1 documentary setup um, just to clarify i said it took about 20 minutes um, before i started my way my back uh, started hurting when i used the um, larger rig but um to be, to be honest, uh, I've always had uh, that pain, um, you know, from doing stuff like this without a rig. Um, yeah, so I've been, I've been having that pain even, you know, and I guess from shooting a lot long hours without, uh, without any support, you know, I've done this for a while, for a while. So I've already had that, uh, I already have a back pain or uh, waist pain. Um, I didn't feel the pain initially until about 20 minutes of the heavy rig. But now, you know, right now I just don't feel any pressure, nothing at all, no pain. Uh, and I think this will probably, I could go with for hours with a lighter rig, you know, without feeling pain. Uh, but watch out for the full review of the lens um, in another video. I guess that will be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. So I'm going to hold on to it and um, uh, maybe down the road I will get... Um, I think I'm not going to get the easy rig eventually. I'll, it's better to just get the actual expensive one that will actually stabilize uh, movement. Alright? Uh, at the end of the day that will be a better result for me than using any gimbal. So um, I'll hold this one until I can afford the very expensive one. They can move, they can stabilize even your movement. So that's the that's the one to look out for. Um, instead of just going to buy an expensive easy rig that still can do movement, I'll rather keep this one. So thank you guys for watching. Um, like, subscribe if you're new here and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.